Uh, I get asked from time to time, uh, how do I plan for a trip? And, you know, I'm actually in the middle of, pro of trying to plan for my SOTIC, or not SOTIC, I'm actually part of the TGO challenge this year, which will take me from one side of Scotland to the other. And I'm in the middle of making a video for that because I'm in the middle of planning it. But in any case, I just got asked about how do I plan for... Oh, let me fix this camera real quick. How does that look? Camera fix. Uh, I'm in the process of planning for TJO Challenge, but I'm not going to post that video now. Right now I'm going to post a video about me heading off to Sodic when I did the planning for that, the Sodic National Park. And usually my planning starts right here in a little app called YouTube. And what I do is I usually start with out any real goal or any ambition or anything and I just kind of browsed backpacking trips and this kind of thing and then I find something that looks interesting I'll say well this time the last time I ended up in Sodic before that I was in somewhere else in northern Sweden before that somewhere else and before that I was in Iceland or Avon and before that you get the picture I'm always doing backpacking trips <laughs> and Usually it just kind of, you know, I get inspired by a video or a blog text or pictures, something just really simple. And maybe you got inspired by watching my videos, which is pretty awesome. So the plan usually starts on the iPhone. And so from that, I actually just, I look at the YouTube and say, hey, that looks interesting. What kind of trails are there? And then I search more after trails, say if I want to go to the Sodic National Park, then I'll just Google Sodic National Park. And I'll look at more videos, and I'll start looking for blog posts, I'll start looking for descriptions, how to get there, how to get back, uh, information from locals, this kind of down. Then I have an app that I use, it's called View Ranger, a maps app. Right now you can see I've got a Scotland on there because I'm kind of doing my planning for the TJO challenge. So I press in Sodic or wherever I want to go. I say, hey, there we go. And I can buy maps. And I already have a lot of maps of... And then I'll look at... In View Ranger, you can even download trails that other people have walked. And just to give me kind of a rough idea, I mean, this process happens months before I ever... I'm not going to lie. Backpack and light cam. So on View Ranger, I'll download the maps and I'll look at different trails that other people are kind of mushing into it. And this will actually be the View Ranger will be my main GPS or my only GPS when I'm up. And there you uh, just the map of the Sodic National Park and some different trail ideas. Uh, so this will be kind of where I start and really where view ranger is also where I finish but in between I'll start looking for more information for example Pasodic I bought a map Kalasu it's a Swedish brand here that does different maps and they even make books and so on kind of the paper format of what the view ranger tells me but if you go in a place like uh, saw it if you're going to need a map and you're going to need to plan it out quite well in advance. If you don't know what you're doing, don't go to Sodic. Do other trails first. And I mean this in all earnesty because Sodic is not a place to play around. It's not a place to learn how to backpack. It's a place that you learn that you don't know what you're doing. That's the kind of place Sodic is. So if you don't know what you're doing, you'll find out very quickly in Sodic. So after the view ranger, I'll get a real map. And then just cause I'm kind of one of those nerds that likes to read about something and just get excited and keep it there in front of me for months and months. Then I ended up buying books as well. 
And both of these books are fantastic. Uh, this one, Sadek, was kind of the original by Klaus Grunsten, who's a fairly well-known uh, photographer here in Sweden. And this book is probably, of the two, the one I'd recommend, because this one is a lot more detailed, or I shouldn't say more detailed, it's probably less detailed, but there's more pictures, and I like pictures. So this book kind of gives the ideas, and I didn't actually read this to do my trip through Sodic, and that's where I messed up. Because had I read this book and read it thoroughly, then I would have known that Sodic, you only bring cash. Getting to Sodic, you can only use your cards, because in Sweden, cash is pretty much, you can't use it. So getting there, you take if you're coming up from out, outside of the country, you take a flight to Stockholm, probably. And then from there you take the train, the bus. And the bus, you either get off at Kvikjok, at Sattelukko, or Ritsem. And there's a few other places that you'll get off. I decided to get off at Ritsem. Okay. So I started here, up at Ritzim, took the boat over, and then you get off around here somewhere, walk down. I spent my first night here, and then I made my way down to this place to get us to Stugana. Okay, I'll tell you something about the cottages and the, these places. It's not your normal employees that are working at these places. Anyway, what I wanted to say was that it's not, you bring cash, bring lots of cash because you're going to need cash within the park uh, you know, for example, I took a boat from I'll buy a map and the books, I don't know how necessary they are either because there's so much information online now uh, and honestly, I did my entire trip without using the book, but I loved having the book to be able to just read and dream in the months leading up to Sodic. Uh, so with that, I can say, I then plotted my route, how I wanted to walk into View, View Ranger. Get that autofocus, there. So I plotted everything into View Ranger. Yeah, I plotted the different routes, see if I can get that. Yeah. I think from Ritzen. And then from there I started looking, okay, so I know where I want to walk when I'm in the park. How do I get to the park? And like I said, in Iceland, the only thing I did is I just jumped off the plane. I went to the first bus, there's these tourist buses, and I said, I want to go to Lagavager or Landmannelager is where I wanted to start, and I wanted to end at Skugger. And they said, okay, it's this much money, and you can get on this train. Great. I'll try this again. In Sweden, in pretty much any Western country nowadays, they have apps. In Sweden, they have a bus and train app called SJ. And in that app, it'll tell you how to get where you want to go, how much it costs, and the times and you can buy your entire train trip, bus trip from Stockholm to Sodic or pretty much anywhere that you want to go in Sweden. This app will help you book it. So I want to go from Yellowbody, you can just easily take a, a bus. So there you have it. Now I just searched from Stockholm to Yellowbody tomorrow. Then I'll buy a ticket, or at least 
I'll start doing my planning process because now I know where the tickets are going. In Sweden it's pretty easy to book these kind of trips because everything can be done basically on an app. So there you have it. Now I have a train that goes from Stockholm to Yelavari, which will put me on the doorstep of Sarek. And then from there, there's buses from Yelavari. And the bus says you can also find in the app. But you just gotta know where you're going. There you have it. It's not the most detailed information, and there's a reason for it. And that's because in Sweden, at least, and in a lot of Western countries, it's very easy to get to where you want to go. And once you know where you're arriving, say in Sodic, for example, if I know, I can Google anything. And, yeah, if you have Google, you can do a trip. And you can do everything. I think even Google does the train booking if you want. 